Y'all, I'm so excited for this week's guest for Happy Hour because she's an amazing woman who is a business owner. She's a successful actress. She's an activist. She's a mentor. She's just a wonderful human being. And she also happens to be my BFF, Bossy Mom Point. Thank you so much for joining us today. <laughs> so one of the reasons, besides all the things I just listed that I wanted to have you on today, is that like Rosé Mansion, we're all about finding like the moments of joy and celebration in the everyday. Like our little motto is celebrate everything. And you're probably one of the best people that I know at finding the joy and the humor in life. And um, just wanted to talk to you about everything that you've got going on. Vasi always has five jobs and she's always <laughs> working. Like even when she was on Broadway, she was still like working and doing childcare because she just loves kids. Um, and so I wanted to talk a little bit about like why you love working with kids so much, why that's so important to you. I like that kids don't have any baggage yet. Like, and even if they have baggage, they don't know they have it so that you can just talk to them about ice cream. And it doesn't have to be like, I had ice cream, but I'm lactose intolerant. And you know, I've been eating ice cream and there's like, there's an epic poem for everything for adults, for all of us, because we've had such experiences and there's no epic poem with them. It's just like, I'm eating ice cream. Sometimes I just need to like play and they're always up for like playtime. I don't know if we will be able to see from, with, from far away with the camera. Can you show your tattoo? Your don't forget to play tattoo. I forgot I had a tattoo for a minute. Wait, you have a million. There it goes. This is so yeah, she has it. Hey, don't forget to play with swing set, um, which is a great reminder, especially right now. Especially when we, a lot of us have like more free time than we're used to, or we're home more. It's like, how do we? How do we play? How do we just have fun? You have to like plan out your day. Like I plan out my day to make sure there's joy. I'm like, all right, I'm meditating at this point. I will make myself talk to someone today. I will. <laughs> You have to like just plan out the joy if you're having trouble right now because when in life is everyone on the planet going through the same everyone's experiencing different things right now whether because of money or race or if they have a job or not there's so many different things but uh we're all feeling it and so it's not like you can be like all right cheer me up so and so because everyone's just like i feel nuts everyone feels nuts you have to like sit down and make a plan like you're making a plan to be successful at something you have to make a plan to figure out how you're going to be joyful during these times because it's not <laughs> that's really that's really interesting because i think a lot of people and me included we kind of wait to be surprised by joy and happiness like but you can plan joy just like you can plan anything else like you know what makes you happy but i think that's really interesting i never really thought about it that way when i teach the kids i'm always like it's, it's always an option and it's sometimes it's not the easiest option but like it's an option to choose joy or um from spongebob make it the best day ever i'm making a choice to do this like even if it's like your sadness is like no come with me it's like i'm gonna put you aside and i'm just gonna like try for the audience Vasti was in the broadway production of spongebob squarepants the musical which you can watch on nickelodeon they did a filmed version of it which is really amazing there's what's the broadway baby stars playhouse and i know we have a lot of moms and like people who are who've been like teaching their kids and they come and hang out with us to drink wine because we give them a little break you're finding a way to give parents a break too and um, i started the playhouse um because we were um i was like how can we keep the staff employed how can we give parents a break i was like we need to do something so that parents don't go crazy because kids don't really know what's going on all they but they do know that everyone's either mad or sad and worried and they can feel that and they're just like but it's summer and i want to have fun they really don't they don't know and they don't care which is one of the <laughs> I hang out with them because they're just like okay so i have to learn off the screen and hang out with my dog all day this is a terrible time like they don't know we started doing these classes they're all pay what you can, uh, donation based, and every single class is taught by a Broadway star. And we just and we teach classes. We do dance classes. We do story time. We do music. We do create your own adventure. We, we started doing like history, like um, having fun with culture, like teaching them about Haitian culture, Jamaican culture. I'm um, trying to teach the kids about different African countries, and it's just a way to like show them art and a way for them to deal with their all of the feelings they might be feeling and try to introduce theater to people that normally wouldn't be able to afford it. And the parents love it because they get to take a break. And one of the best 
like feedback we got from a parent was like, thank you for giving me 30 minutes to cry in the bathroom. And I was like, that's exactly why we're here to give you guys a chance to feel what you need to feel. Um, and so it's been great. And it's, and then we started doing children's hospitals. So like we've been, we've been doing shows for terminally ill children who have been isolated because of COVID um, and can't really get visitors. So they, they're doing that. We've been doing nursing homes. And I was like, they're not going to be into this. And like, they were like, I taught them a dance class and they were just like clapping and doing stuff. And I was like, this is the best thing ever. So out of this crazy dark time, this has been born and it's been great. And uh, my husband and I created it together and we're going to just keep doing it. Anyone is welcome. It's pay what you can. We pay the artists. So the money goes to the artists and then we donate to the Parents Artist Advocacy League. And then we're uh, donating to Pretty Brown Girls. It's a um, nonprofit organization that helps with educational programs and helps promote confidence in young black girls, which is something that is needed because there's not a lot of black role models when I was growing up. There's more and more happening now, which is fantastic. But well, you're uh, one now. And I'm one now, yes, that's the goal. That's my dream is to be a role model. Well, which you I are, and, and like y you bring so much light to everybody who knows you. The way that we're all reaching each other now on Zoom, like you're in LA, I'm in New York. Mm -hmm. but we're still able to like connect in a meaningful way and see each other. And you're doing that for people all over the country. And that's what we're trying to do also like with our virtual events is, is give people a sense of community when that's really like hard to find and letting them be seen. Yeah. Like the kids stand in front of the zoom and they know that you can see them. They're not just watching TV. Like they're having an interaction. And I think that's so important. Like say their names. Us is like, we do like a hard step or a jump and they just, We'll be like, turn around, they'll turn, and then you'll just like not <laughs> they fall out of frame, and it's the best. And then they get up and it's just like, it's my favorite thing ever. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's been, it's been the source of light in this, in this apartment, and it's been great. We started with six families, and now we have 670. Kids just love it, and we love watching the kids love it. It's the best. Yeah, we, um, so we just had one class where we're like, um, one of the teachers, he's like, all right, guys, we're doing like um, a classic body dance, so wear gloves. Um, and they're like, okay. So then the kids came and it's like 20 kids at that point. And they all had like, it's like, like one kid on had, had on gardening gloves. One kid was dressed up as Superman. One kid was dressed up as Elsa. And it's like, no, those are not the costumes, but we asked them to, cause it's fun for us to watch. Um, but yeah, they're funny. They're just, they're just having a good time. And at the end of every single class, um, we unmute their microphones. We have them thank the teacher. And then, I, and then I make the kids promise me that they'll hug their parent or their caregiver. And, and I was like, look them straight in the eye and say, thank you. And I love you. And you're doing a great job. One parent was like, it was kind of creepy because he was like looking me like dead in the eye. <laughs> but, like, but, um, but I think it's important for kids to realize that their parents are doing the most right now. I'm so excited to see you become the next iteration. <laughs> I think I just hurt my shoulder. <laughs> it was worth it. It was a good dance. <laughs> oh, that is fun. It is. It feels like very free. <laughs> well, Bossy Nonpoint is going to be this generation's Mr. Rogers. Um, she's going to bring joy and laughter and education and sensitivity and enlightenment to all the children. And I can't wait to see that happen. I think you're what the world needs right now. Yay, this is fun. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, Vasi. I love you. I love you too. Bye. Bye. <laughs>